hello and welcome to a new video today's video will be me showing you my favorite art supplies i've done a really similar video back in 2019 and i thought it would be time for an updated one yeah even though some things stayed the same there are also some things that changed so let's start i thought that i would start with what I paint in, like paper-wise. And those are my beloved sketchbooks. So, okay. The only sketchbook I use are Moleskin. So these are all Moleskin sketchbooks. Um, I like to buy them like a little leather cover because I take them with me everywhere, basically. So, um, this one I really recently started. So it only has this little illustration that I actually did in a video. Um, yeah, that's about it. Then this is my main sketchbook. And then this one I also got a while ago, but honestly, this size kind of scares me. So I've only done one illustration and I don't really like it, but <laughs> it is what it is. But yeah, this is my main sketchbook. I use all kinds of mediums in here, mainly paint. I would say um, lots of unfinished paintings by the way <laughs> but yeah I want to show you the art supplies that I use for the sketchbook and yeah bear with me okay so I think I will start with with my most used art supply which are my paints. I store them in this little tea box, I think it was. Eventually I wanna paint something over it, um, but for now, yeah, I don't really care, <laughs> to be honest. So, these are my gouache paints, which, as I said, I think I use the most for my paintings. Um, yeah. These are the gouache paints by Winsor and Newton and I really really like them. I started off with this kind of like cheapish brand and they really didn't do it for me. <laughs> so I'm really glad I switched because I really like using these even though I recently started using Holbein uh, acrylic gouache and I really want to try their like gouache as well so maybe I will mix those two brands but this is really easy available here in the Netherlands for me Holbein I think it's sold by like a few people here but yeah it's kind of hard to get your hands on so yeah I really like using these wash paints um yeah <laughs> so yeah those are my paints Then to my other paints that I use a lot, which are also by Winsor and Newton. I think these are called like the professional watercolors. I used to have the other one. Like I think they are like a student grade. But these are the professional watercolors. So they stay really nice over time. And these are the colors that I have in here. Yeah, what can I say? I just really, really like these. They are really pigmented. And yeah, again, I really like these. I have been using them for two years, I think now. And yeah, they are the best. I really think if you're like a professional illustrator or artist or whatsoever, not even professional, but I think it's so important to actually invest in your art supplies. Once you invest in like a better brand or like better paints or whatsoever You really can notice a difference and I Cannot for the life of me paint with my cheaper paints now. I mean I can I can make it work if I want to but this is just so much nicer and They stay nicer as well. They're just like really smooth and vibrant colors and the ones I had are like really I don't know they're not they're not as smooth you know and you have to use a lot of water to activate them and with these ones you need just a little bit of water 
I even use them as like a gouache kind of paint sometimes um, when I want to build up a layer or something like that you know um, or like add highlights you even can with these paints so yeah I really 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 like them and I'm so glad that I invested in them in them because they were quite expensive not the most expensive ones on the market but still it was a lot of money for me at the time but I'm still really happy with these so yeah and I really like the tin as well um, they come with like two rows of paints and then all these ones in the middle are like hold on I don't I, I really don't know if you're like supposed to put paints there as well but I honestly really like the way it looks even though when I didn't have like the middle row I would put my brushes in there which was really nice but yeah I love watercolors I love using them I often do start my paintings with watercolors but I end up turning it into a gouache painting because you know it's just really easy to build layers with gouache compared to watercolors but Again, I really, really, really like these and once the color runs out, I'm definitely like <laughs> buying it again. I've had this for, I said, two years now. I think it's longer actually, but I've never had to replace one of the pens. So they last a really long time as well because I paint a lot with these or I used to. I don't paint that much, but I want to get back into painting as much as I did. So yeah, enough about that. There's also one other set of paints that i've been using a lot lately and those are my acrylic gouache sets so last year or two years ago i don't even remember i did like a mural like a wall wall painting and like we did like a little trade but i still got some money from it which was so nice because um Long story short, I got a dishwasher and I got them the mural, but I still got some money and I decided to um, buy this paint set because I saw Holbein's Instagram like promoting this one and honestly just this illustration was enough to <laughs> get me to buy them. But yeah, I've been seeing so many people use these and... I just really wanted to try them as well and I absolutely love them I think oh, it's upside down I think these are like one of my favorite th things I own art supply wise they look so nice as well like look at these colors so this is a set in collaboration with Rebecca Green but they do have like normal sets as well but I just yeah the illustration just got me <laughs> so I got these it didn't come with a white, I think, and it doesn't come with a black either, but I don't really use these colors except for white, obviously. So I got that one separate, but besides that, I really, really, really love these colors. I think the earthy tones are my favorite ones, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, I, I am so in love with these. The only thing is that they dry kind of quick. So I see some people use these like stay wet kind of palettes honestly it's too much of a hassle for me i will just keep keep applying paint to my palette or just don't add as much paint as i would do with like normal gouache because you can reactivate it with these you cannot but again i really 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 like these they are so pigmented like it's crazy actually yeah in love with these i Eventually, you want to get more of these paints, but for now, I'll just <laughs> I'll keep using these and I will keep adding some to my collection. Okay, now I'm going to show you some like things that I use when I paint. First of all, are painting palettes I don't really use like proper <laughs> palettes what I do use is vintage plates I think I started doing this like quite a while ago well actually I started using my mom's plates when I still lived at home and my mom wasn't really happy about it so I just got like some cute plates from the charity shop and <laughs> they became my painting plates and now when I see some, I will just get them. I think these are so cute as well, especially this one. I don't know if you can tell, but it has like 
strawberries on the side. Really pretty. Almost too pretty to use as a painting palette, but it makes me really happy, so. So these are my painting palettes. Really simple, but it works amazing. Then I will always use like a cloth to clean my brush. This is just like a, a cotton one. It's from uh, Dylan Camilla, which is a Dutch store. Um, I used to use paper towel, but I would end up using so much paper towel sometimes that I thought, you know what, I can just buy a little cloth, like a cotton one, and just wash it if it gets like really dirty. Uh, I recently washed it. It was kind of gross, actually. Um, and some stains will definitely stay in the fabric, which is fine, because I bought it for the purpose of being a painting cloth. Um, and it's really nice to have this in the, in my little um, like paint sets. So that's where I store it normally. Then I use painting mugs to keep my water in, which is kind of the same story as the plates. I would just use mugs and like glasses at my parents' house, which they weren't too happy about. So I got all of these like vintage mugs <laughs> that I put water in. Um, look at how pretty they are. I kind of want to use them as normal mugs, but I like these like really big mugs where you can put a lot of tea in. And these are just too small for my coffee or tea and I don't use them for anything else so painting mugs it is and yeah I often use two mugs to put my water in um, and then I'll use one to like rinse my brush and I use one uh, mug with painting water to thin out my paint so yeah let me get these away Then, for brushes, I use a really random selection, actually. I have to say, I'm not the best brush mom. But these are some of my brushes. Um, yeah, as you can see, they get a lot of love, but... <laughs> these ones are my absolutely favorite. They are by a brand called Peter van Ginkel. No, actually I'm lying. They are by a Dutch brand called Ger Gerstakker. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Gerstakker. Yeah, I don't know, but they have like a really nice handle. Like they're really nice to hold. I get quite a few questions about these brushes when I use them in videos, but they are a Dutch brand. I don't know if you can get them in other countries. I think if you're in Germany or France or Belgium especially, then you would be able to get your hands on them. But yeah, these are my favorite ones. I always go for these. Um, and then I have some other ones, but again, these are my favorite ones. They are really affordable as well. These are actually like really cheap. And I've, I've had them for quite a while as well, I have to say. So they hold up really nicely, even though they're really affordable. Um, my favorite brush is this one. Hold on. It's the little uh, liner one. I use it for like drawing the hairs on like little bees. And I don't know. I, I, I love it. <laughs> so that's as far as my brushes go. Then, for sketching, I recently switched, or recently, I think six months ago or something, I found these. And I think I saw them in a video on YouTube, like some illustrator using them. But these are erasable color pencil, which are the nicest. Um, I I do have more colors, but I honestly just lose them sometimes. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, but yeah, I use them for sketching. And normally I would always sketch with graphite pencil. But I would have to kind of like trace a sketch with watercolor and then erase the sketch. Because otherwise it would be really clear underneath the painting. Like the sketch would still be visible even after like layers of paint. 
please don't do that. I do still erase them sometimes, but honestly, you don't really have to because they just kind of disappear and it's amazing, especially if you use like the right color, <laughs> which I don't always do because as I said, I lose them sometimes, but <laughs> besides that, I just, I'm in awe by these and they were like really affordable as well, especially considering the fact that these are Fab Faber-Castell pencils but yeah these are amazing i will never use anything else like i used to love my graphite pencil sketches but these are everything i also think it looks really nice to do a sketch with colored pencil i don't know it, it just i love it i love that you can uh, add contrast with colored pencil as well like if you push a little bit harder it will get darker if you do like a really light sketch you know you can get some sort of dimension in your sketch but yeah these are everything, so yeah. Then for color pencils, I also have these ones. I got these, where was it? I think when I was one year together with my boyfriend, which is now my fiance. <laughs> um, but yeah, he got me these color pencils and I was like, so overwhelmed by it like i could not believe it because i mean look at them look at how pretty like imagine getting this as a birthday present i was not used to getting like presents that amazing <laughs> i don't know like yeah boys would not get me anything like it <laughs> um yeah, I I still remember the moment he gave this to me and I was just, I was in awe, like I couldn't believe that I got something that amazing and I, I still love them. I don't use them as much um, because I don't really do like proper color pencil paintings or paintings, drawings, um, but I do use them often to add like a little bit of detail or shadow or you know things that I don't want to do with a paintbrush um, and these are amazing colors as well I have a few more just <laughs> laying around in my room like colors that I also use a lot eventually I want to get them out of this tin and like store them in like a little wooden box as well but yeah I don't want to throw away this tin yet because again I it holds some sort of memory, you know, because it was the first birthday present that he got me, and yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I really love these. I think Faber Castell is one of my favorite art supply brands. Besides the gouache paints by Holbein, I absolutely love them. So yeah, these ones it is. Then for pens. I have these. Yeah, I still use the same pens than I did like five years ago. I use all these different kind of brands. I use these Micron ones, which I really like. Faber Castell, again. Um, these ones I also really like, but I think they run out so fast. But I do have a 0 0.03 instead of 5, because often it is 5. So it's like, it's really small. I don't know if you can see it please oh amazing um but yeah i really like these ones even though they do run out a little bit fast um these ones are by copic 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 and you are able to refill these even though you have to like replace the tip as well so i honestly never did that i don't even know if there's still ink in them to be quite honest with you but yeah, these are all my pens that I use for my ink drawings. I don't do as much ink drawings as I used to. They really were like <laughs> my thing. But I still like using them and I still really like doing drawings like that. Yeah, I definitely just fell in love with painting along the way. <laughs> but yeah, these are my pens. I also have my um, kneadable eraser. I don't use this one too often because with these pens 
they have like little erasers on the back which I use with them but if I choose to erase a sketch I will use this especially with pen, pen drawings I will use my eraser so I thought I would show you that real quick I think that's basically it for like my most used art supplies but no there's actually one more hold on so I wasn't going to include this one but I think it's only fair to because I use this to draw on as well um, hold on so I will mostly use it for editing illustrations um, but also drawing one all my tarot cards are drawn on my iPad uh, I did the sketch in my sketchbook but eventually I would use my iPad to like properly draw them um, I use them to edit my illustrations as well um, let me see like this one I've been working on it is quite an old iPad I think it's the iPad 2019 eventually I would love to get the Pro <laughs> but it's super duper expensive and this one still works even though I, I the colors do look really different on my iPad than in like real life or my computer and you know it's always a bit of a hassle with the screen but with this iPad especially I just it's really something that I do notice so yeah anyway yeah and then I do have my acrylic paints I did show them in my last favorite art supply kind of video I don't really use them a lot I think I rather have to say that I barely use them because I honestly barely use them but when I do have like a mural or I'm painting something like pins or I'm also working on something that I will show you soon that I also use them for and then I will use acrylics or I do have to say I will probably use my Holbein gouache acrylics now as well but for murals I would use these this is a brand that uh, is by, what is it by? World Talents. And this one is the brand that my art school sold actually. So, and that's why my name is still on it. <laughs> yeah. So these are the two brands of acrylic paints I use when I have to use them. <laughs> I barely use them, but I still wanted to show you because I will go back to these brands basically um, I do have one other brand which I will show you which I also will go for when it comes to like smaller projects and those are my Arteza um, acrylic paints they come in so many colors and these were gifted to me by the way these were gifted by Arteza I don't like all of their products but these I really like they are like really pigmented and they dry kind of like glossy I guess but in a nice way not in like a cheap <laughs> acrylic brand kind of way but like in a nice way they dry really nicely if you ask me and again if I paint like pins like clay pins or anything like it I will use these um, so yeah I think those are all the art supplies that I wanted to show you. I thought it wouldn't be as much as my previous video because then I would still use a lot of acrylic paints and also oil paints as well. But I haven't painted with oil paints since I basically moved in the house I'm living in right now, which has been three years or something. So yeah, I'm not going to show them. If you want to see like my other art supply video, with my oil paints in them then you can um, I use a brand called Gamblin I think I don't know <laughs> again you have to look up that video anyway I really hope you liked seeing my favorite art supplies and yeah I hope to see you in my next video bye